So you need a new logo, but your design skills match those of a four-year-old. And hiring a dedicated graphic designer is not an option. Well, in this video, I will teach you how to use AI to create a stunning logo that will look good on a tiny space, on a website, or even on a giant billboard. Hello, I'm Casino, also known as the Digital Alchemist, and in this video, I will show you how I created a modern and professional logo with the power of AI for this website, which is a fictional website created specifically for the purpose of a video. And by the way, that video is about which tool does what in the Brainstorm Force ecosystem. So if you're wondering why and how to use Astra, Spectra, Starter Templates, or ZipWP, make sure you go watch this video, but of course, once you're done watching this one. And of course, you'll find the links in the description of this video. And by the way, if we're talking about the website itself, it was built with free tools. So ZipWP to create the website, and basically ZipWP is using Astra and Spectra as a theme and as a visual website builder. Now for the images, I created the images with AI. So if you're interested to know how I created those images because I created like beautiful consistent images with AI. So if you're interested to know how to do this for your own projects, please let me know and I may create a video tutorial about it. But now let's focus on the logo and let me show you my process. One, brainstorm and prompt your logo. So like I mentioned, this fictional website was for a video tutorial about Astra, Spectra, and the other tools. So the first thing I did, I went to ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT, create a creative brand name for a car company. The name should have either Brainstorm or Force in it because, you know, wanted to play with the brand. So ChatGPT gave me a few IDs, but I wanted more, so I asked for 10 more. And finally, this one caught my eye, Stormforce Drives, which I changed to Storm Drives, you know, make it even shorter. Now from there, I asked, can you create a logo for it? And depending on which version of ChatGPT you get, you can get this feature right into ChatGPT. I'm using ChatGPT Plus, I'm not sure about the regular ChatGPT, but even if you cannot do it in ChatGPT, you can use Bing Image Creator for free, which basically uses DALL-E, which is what you use here. Might not be the same version, but still, you get 100 free credits that renews, I think, every month. So you can do it totally for free if you want to do it. Just go to Bing Image Creator and just, you know, you're gonna have to insert a prompt. Say, hey, can you create a logo for a brand called Stone Force Drive? It has to be a car, yada, yada, yada. You get the ID. But here, it was even more seamless because ChatGPT already knows the history since the beginning of the chat. So basically it gave me uh, these first two variations, but you know, I said nice, but I prefer a more minimalistic line style design. So ChatGPT came up with this. I was still not really happy with it. So I said, make it even more minimalistic. Come on ChatGPT, come on. So then I got these ones, uh, still, you know, I mean, the first one, I like it better. Uh, so I said, I like the first one, please give me four iterations of it. But you know, it's Dali. Dali just couldn't find it. So what I did is I clicked on this image and here, if you don't have it, just click on the information sign. And then it gave me this prompt, which you can just copy with one click. So click copy and there you go, it's copied. And basically I went to another tool called Meet Journey. Now bear in mind, this is not free, but honestly for what it does, in my opinion, is the best. And if you're serious about creation in general, Meet Journey, I mean, so far it's hard to beat, you know, maybe Photoshop, but we'll talk about that in another video. So basically I went here and I just pasted that prompt right away. And this is what I got. So I got a few variations out of this, but I didn't quite like it. So I did a few more iterations. And let me show you. So I got these, 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 these ones. Uh, here I was trying to have just the logo without the car. Then I went back to the car. And basically I got those. But out of all of these, this one here was the one I really preferred. This was really what I had in mind. It looked really neat. Now, the issue with those tools is that you get a great image, you can even upscale it, but it's still pixel based. So if you want to use that, you know, as a serious brand, and let's say one day you need to print that logo on a giant, giant billboard because, you know, you, you grew a multi-million brand and, you know, you can advertise on giant billboards, then if you're stuck with the pixelated logo, what are you going to do about it? 
So I will show you how we can fix that in a moment. But back in ChatGPT, I haven't done it here because I had a clear ID of the tone of the brand and the color palette. But if it was a new brand and I didn't know, I could ask ChatGPT, hey, can you give me the values of that company? Of course, you, you may want to feed it first and saying, okay, we are an environmental conscious company, whatever. Just say, what do you think about that brand? And then let ChatGPT really write down the values. Same thing for the color palette. Can you find a color palette for that brand? With all the history from the beginning of the chat in ChatGPT, it's gonna help you. And you can ask for more if you're not satisfied with what you get. And in my case, like I said, I already knew the tone you know, of that fictional brand and the colors I was going to use. Two, vectorize and customize. So at this point, this is the image that I got from Mid Journey. So I got my four variations. And like I said, I decided to use this one. So basically, I imported this image into my tool, which is Affinity Photo 2, but you can use Affinity Photo, you can use Photoshop, and if you want a free alternative, it's called PhotoP, PhotoP.com. So basically, once I've imported this here, I just cropped it to end up with this image. So at this point, you might say, hey, great, you know, you can use it. Eh, not really. What if you want this on white background? You know, this is just a pixel based image so you can't really change it so that's the first issue now the second issue let me zoom in and as you can see as i zoom in it's so pixelated and you don't want that like i mentioned if you want to be serious about your brand and in the future you want to print this on a giant billboard that's not going to cut it right and that's where a tool like vectorizer.ai comes into play now bear in mind it's in beta state now so it's free for the moment probably not going to stay free or maybe it's going to be free if you just upload like one image every I don't know every day every month I don't know and no idea but for the moment this is what you can use now in case by the time you watch this video it's not free anymore here are some alternatives uh, first of all we got vectorizer and then we got vector magic so basically they do the same thing they got like a freemium model so you can use it but I'm going to use vectorizer.ai for this video and the first thing you can do is just pick an image to vectorize so you can choose which type of image or just click on pick image or just drag and drop it so let me pick my image here and it's going to do its magic it's actually pretty fast so this is like real time it's gonna be a few seconds and there you go so on the left, we have the original image, which is pixel based. And on the right, we have the vectorizer AI result. Now, let me zoom in here on the wheel. And as you can see, I mean, yeah, need I say something? I don't know if you can see it here on YouTube, depending on which device you're watching this. But yeah, you can see on the left, it's all pixelated. And here on the right hand side, it's super professional. Basically, this is what you need. So. Once you're happy with the result, just click on download and you're gonna get these options, this screen. Now I leave it as it is. I'm just going to download it as an SVG. Click on download and save it on your computer. So then I open the file with Affinity Designer. Once again, if you want to use a free tool, you can use photop.com. It's completely free and you can use it there. But in my case, I'm using Affinity Designer 2. You can use Illustrator, well, you get the idea. So now I can start selecting each line that I want here and I can just remove what I don't need. And basically, once I'm happy with the lines and that I want in this logo, I can change the colors. So that's what I did. And what you see here on top is the original version where I removed the lines, I removed the background and I changed the color of the lines to black color for the time being. And then I just reverse horizontally the image because I wanted the car to actually look like on the right hand side. So this is the final version. And next I customized the logo by adding some text. So I added the Storm Drive's brand name and what I did, I just customized the S and the D here. Now you don't have to do that, but it's always nicer, you know, it's the kind of thing that graphic designers would do. But still, it was a very quick process. And once you get this, you can change the colors, you can match your color palette, create the positive and negative versions, and basically you're done. And by the way, this is PhotoP, so PhotoP.com. And if you use Photopea, if you use the free version, you got to get some ads on the right hand side. 
yeah that's annoying but hey it's free and if you want to remove these of course you're gonna have to pay but it kind of defeats the purpose because you could just get affinity photo 2 which is one of the best in my opinion but you get the idea if you want something free you can do it from here and you can create a beautiful vectorized logo also three create a brand guide so the next step was to create a brand guide now you don't have to do this but it's always more professional if you intend your brand your company to grow you want to have this from very early on so that anybody you work with know how to use your brand but this one is a pretty simple one you got the logo here on top the logo versions here we got the primary then we got the wordmark only and the icon version and then we got the color palette and some of the typography now this one is actually pretty simple now if you want an even more professional brand guidelines templates well i created one and you can download it free of charge all you need to do is follow the url that appears on screen so i hope that this video was valuable for you and if it was please give it a thumbs up because it's really going to help the channel it's free only takes less than one second and it's really going to help this guy and don't forget, if you want me to show you how to create beautiful imagery like the images on this website, please let me know in the comments and I will surely make a tutorial about it. And would you believe me if I said that this image you see right here is not me but my AI avatar? Nah, <laughs> not yet. Maybe one day, but not yet. It's actually more fun with a real human, right? Come on, say yes. Or would you rather have a robotic voice and a robotic avatar speaking like this? Nah, never. I'm back, baby. The Digital Alchemist is back. See you in the next one. Cut.